So this is the Chave Mini Quinta IRC. One of the best DJ lights, in my opinion, on the affordable side of lights, of course. There are many, many different types of lights available to DJs nowadays, and the Chalbait side is one of the more famous brands. This Mini Kenta is, in my opinion, as I said, one of the best lights available right now on the market. This is not the Model 2, this is the Model 1. I have a video about this light specifically in my channel, and if you're interested in checking that out, please go ahead and do so. But for now, what we want to do is actually compare this light to the copy that was actually made and only is a fraction of the cost of it. Okay, so first off, let's get this out of the box. I have it in the box because that's how I store it when I put it away. It's safer in the box it came in. So, put these aside. And here is the light itself. The light is very small, lightweight. It has all these little pieces of plastic here, like little windows on the back side has the normal plugs, has your standard DMX plugs. The good part about these Chauvet lights is that the output plug here is a standard three pin plug and it's not like the female plug that you have to buy a special cable for it. You could put any light from here and jump it off of the Chauvet and that is a very good idea that they made this because of the fact that the only little thing that I don't like about this light is that when you power it on and it starts to work, it takes a little bit for it to actually start doing its thing. It takes a little bit for it to power on, start moving and shaking the lights around and stuff like that. And to that matter, I have a filler light. And if you want to understand or know how I use the filler light in combination with these other lights, you can go ahead and check out in my channel. There's also a video about that, how I combine the lights so that I can actually have the best possible show. Being a single mobile DJ, I work the lights and the music and everything. And the way I set everything up is though that it could be autonomous and I don't have to touch anything just leave the lights on and moving around. I have more information, as I said, on some other videos on mine regarding the DJ setup that I have. And right now for this video, we're not gonna be looking at this Mini Kenta IRC. As I said, I have another video in my channel regarding this light and the other lights that I have in my setup. What we're gonna be looking at is this. This is the available Chinese equivalent to this Mini Kenta. So let's get this open here. I've been talking about this a little bit and the fact that this one only costs you $20 and this one can go from $100 to $200, especially if you're going for the newer version 2 model. And as you can see, this is also a fraction of the size. So as with everything else, you get what you pay for. So let's go ahead and open this box up, see what's in here. It has a remote. That's interesting. Has your standard cable for plugging into the wall outlet. And it has an instruction leaflet. And, and that's it. It has the MX, the power, control panel with some buttons and a microphone. It says it here, everything is simple. Menu functions, up, down, enter, control, sound receiver, DMX input, DMX output, and power. So there's not much to look at that, right? Let's go ahead and look at this little thing here. Looks like a little toy. This is the $20 alternative that you could buy from eBay. As you can see, there's quite the difference there in size and the setup as well is different. I have had mixed deals with this Chinese stuff. With, on the, I have had mixed deals with all these Chinese lights made for DJs. However, this looks fairly good. It feels fairly good, the plastic feels good. It has the necessary and proper connections on the back. It doesn't have an output, but it's too small to have an output. And I am hoping this is like the Gen C light and the other two Chinese light that I use in my setup that is actually good. Because this, as I said, goes for $20. We'll just have to wait and see how good this actually is. And I will actually compare it to the Kinta because that's what it's copied out of. So first of all, let's get some music in here. I'm going to be using, as always, my standard go-to tune when I'm trying out music. It's royalty-free, and I actually like the beat, as I said, so I'll be trying that with the Mini Kinta here first. Just to give you an example of what I was talking about, this is the Kinta, of course, 
and we're gonna plug this in now to the wall so now it has power and if you're counting you go one two three and there you go three four seconds maybe to the point where you actually get this thing to power on from when you actually power it on and I know you're gonna say if you use the DMX connections you won't have that type of issue there's some pre settings on that that you can actually have things powered on beforehand and you know there's different type of things that you can use to fix that but as I have said before I'm doing my mobile DJ setup with a system that's not DMX and I'm using a light chaser to actually move between the lights I don't want to go into connecting anything DMX or anything as of the moment I prefer that method and that is where the fill-in lights as I said come in because those turn on immediately and gives this one time to power up and cycle through everything and still keep the flow of the lights and the music and everything so now that we saw that let's check out the Chinese alternative here see how this works out I'm not gonna use the remote control I'm gonna try to power it on as it is see if it actually works or not and how good or bad this may be I'll be honest here I'm not expecting much from this thing it was $20 and I just wanted to know if it works or not if it works well there we go we have a nice little addition to our light setup if it doesn't work well there you go as well you were warned it doesn't work don't buy it so powers on one two that was fairly quick and it's actually a bit impressive I do have to say it's green and purple that's it I'm not sure if this actually said it was RGB to begin with but it's not actually that bad I would believe that it's RG then instead of RGB so therefore RG red and green it is not red it's purple but it's still it does a fairly good job at, at moving around and doing some effects there's some lines there that are visible here it's it may not be visible when you have it far away no it's still visible but let's actually get this I don't know if it's music oriented or not Welcome ladies and gentlemen, a Mercedes, kind of sentiment, luxury and trust in me to honor the free week. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be music. Okay, there we go. We got, ooh, there's a nice little party. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, RGB completely, RGBW actually. Red alone, all the colors, uh, flashing, and that is off. Is that music? Let's see if that's music. Okay, so yes, that option is the sound control mode, and no, it's not very good, at least to my taste. I don't like the flashy, flashy lights. I prefer it to actually move around to the beat better, like the Xiaobe actually does. Now that it's moving, cycling through everything, let me just go ahead. It says S262, X261, A001. Is that music as well? Okay, so A001 is off. A17 is red, A27 is RG when we started, 37 is blue and white, A47 is I believe all the colors, it has even orange in there, so it's more than RGB actually, So because it has red, purple, orange, blue, green and white, so it, that's pretty neat, it has a lot of colors. There's only orange and there's okay, so here we go cycling through two colors. A67 is kind of okay, still cycling through the colors. That seems to be random. Yeah, that is the random option. A67 seems to be the best one to go with. 
a 7 7. It's also random, pretty neat. And 8 7 is flashy, flashy. I don't like the flashy, flashy. S162 is sound. To which I got the flashy, flashy again. No likey. So. Okay, so yeah, we have a few options here uh, with the S, which actually means that this is automated mode and this is the sound activated mode. 162 was flashy, flashy. 261 is the random. That's really nice. I just hope it doesn't go flashy, flashy. That seems to be the best way to go. Next one. Okay, that's kind of weaker. So the second sound activated mode is the best one to go. Number two, S261. There we go. Actually, pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. It's not the Kinta, however. I have to say that. Kinta takes a little bit longer to boot up. Still is better. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's try out these two lights here. Kinta goes that way. Chinese goes this way. Music. Well, well, I have to say, little light is quite impressive for twenty dollars. Wasn't really expecting much out of this thing. Looked like a toy, as I said at the beginning of the video, but it's working out pretty nice. And another thing that I figured out is that if you actually leave a setting and you turn it off and turn it on again, let's get this one turned off here. Just for the record, I'm not saying it's better than the Kinta. That's not really what I'm saying. I'm just saying for twenty dollars. You have a Kinta like light. So let's power this off for a bit here. If you power it off and you power it on, it's 
kind of immediate. It only takes like one or two seconds to power on, which is good because as I said, the Kinta here takes a little bit longer to boot up. It has to be said, the Kinta is a better light. You could definitely see a little bit of difference in quality. And that is because this one costs $20. This one costs over $100. But that being said, for $20, this little thing is not bad. And actually I combine it, as you can see in the video, with the Kinta and it made a nice little swarmy effect. That's pretty neat. So there you have it. If you're on a budget and you're looking for a good light, kind of like the Kinta or something that has like a little swarmy effect like you're just seeing right now, this little light for $20 is very good. You could get this off eBay. I got it for $20 shipped and it had the free e-package shipping, which means that it has a tracking number when I got it. And I'd have to say it's pretty good. If you have only $20 and you want to get a light, this is in fact the best Chinese light that I have bought for under $20. I'm pretty happy with that. And one other thing that I have to say, if you're actually setting this thing up, if you change the setting, like there, if you put it all red and you turn it off, when you turn it back on, I notice that it goes back to the original setting, which is good because I had set it up for sound mode two, which is the one that I like. Uh, but if you want to move it around, you have to actually put it where you want it and press the enter button. It says save for a second there. When you unplug it and you plug it back on, see, it goes back to the A1, which is the one that I set. So I want to go back to S2. In my case, press enter, let it save. And that is about it. I'll give you guys and girls an update later on down the road if this is actually still working a month, two months, three months later. But for now, I'd have to say I'm fairly impressed with this little $20 light. It's the build here is kind of iffy. Little spaces are different. But, you know, overall, it's $20. Can't really fault it that much when that's the price tag, isn't it? And it's actually working, and it has DMX, and it has a whole lot of colors. It has more than RGB white. It has RGB white, purple, and orange, which is pretty neat. And there you have it. If you like what you saw, if you're interested in something like this, if you don't want to spend over $100 in a bigger light like that, you could just go ahead and try this little $20 light and then maybe move up to something bigger. I would have to say that if I got two of these, I'd be happy using them in a party. But if I had two of these, I'd be happier. Actually, I do have two of these, so I'm happier. Now I have two of these and one of these. You know what? I'm going to get another one of these as a backup for my system. It's a good thing to have laying around. If this light doesn't work for any reason, I still have another light to actually keep moving the party forward. So there you have it. That's my video comparing the Mini Kinta IRC to this Chinese imitation light of the Mini Kinta that is actually smaller. Thank you for watching. Until the next video.